you have just a giant bowl of meat sitting well, right there. Well, I have a giant bowl of meat because if I'm going to make meatballs, I'm going to make a lot of meatballs. Okay, balls. good. They freeze well, they reheat well, you might as well make a bunch. So to five pounds of ground beef. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what, before we get any further, five pounds, how much fat content do you want to have in the beef You know, right I there? care more about the quality of the beef. In other words, I use Strawberry Mountain, which is grown in uh, their cows from John Day. You know where the cows come mm -hmm. from. Natural beef would be my first choice. The fat content to me doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, all right. Um, to this, I add three quarters a cup of chopped Italian parsley, mm -hmm. two thirds a cup of breadcrumbs. Uh, is that like out of a, a box of uh, breadcrumbs? Yes, okay. not, not yeah. important. Yeah, okay. Romano cheese. This is Pecorino Romano cheese. It's sheep's milk cheese from Italy. Mm -hmm. One and two thirds cup. An equal amount of water. Yes, you need water. Yes, they'll be a little mushy, but that's what makes them fluffy. Okay. And Ten what... eggs. Ooh, uh, the whole egg, not just the yolk. Well, the and whole I, egg well yolk. yes, and beaten. Okay. Three cloves of garlic and then some salt and pepper. Now, while I'm going to mix this up, I'm going to heat up my saute pan. Mm -hmm. One of the most critical things about making good meatballs is you have to saute them. That browning really adds a lot of flavor. Okay. Now, you can either eat the meatballs straight like that, or what we do at Mamma Mia Trotteria is we put it in our sauce, and it cooks for about uh, three hours. Now, a lot of times you can make all these meatballs, as you mentioned, ahead of time, uh -huh. freeze them, and then when you're making your spaghetti, then you can just kind of pop those things out. Can you That's just put great, it? absolutely. But, you know, what's really good is the remnants that are in the bottom of the pan is really yummy mm. in the sauce, so it'd be great to try to capture that, maybe deglaze that with a little water and save it for when you're going to add it to the okay. sauce. Okay, all right, good So deal. then we have our mixed meat, and another little trick that we do in the restaurant business is we use um, a ice cream scooper for portioning oh, so we'll use it for muffins and stuff like that and what I like to do is go ahead and portion them so they're about the same size mm -hmm. portion a bunch and then go back and roll them like oh, so. Oh then you get them in the perfect thing. Exactly okay. and then put them in your hot pan and cook them on all sides until they're nice and brown. Oh. Now I know you always regret when I don't bring you samples. And you brought a so sample. So today I bought you meatballs that we did put in our sauce mm -hmm. so take a taste let me know what you think. Mm. Now, now do you, does it have to be beef, or can you can you substitute it with other things? Some like, people use like, pork and veal in their okay. meatballs. I prefer to use straight natural beef. Mm, mm, Tasty? Mm -hmm. That's very good. <laughs> yeah, my wife always tries to sneak turkey in on it. You know oh. what I got? People should look at the labels on turkey. Oftentimes it has as much cholesterol as beef. So read those labels before you conclude it's less fat or good less cholesterol. That's delicious. We'll, we'll want to get that recipe, and uh, you can check it out. If you'd like, Lisa, to answer one of your questions, Log on to kptv.com and click on Lisa's picture. It's right there. She's lovely. And uh, <laughs> you can uh, ask her some of those questions. Now I'm going to pass it over to Kim as I enjoy some more.